The ASABE's 34th historic landmark designation is the development of rubber tires for tractors. In the 1920s, all tractors had steel wheels with lugs. These tires had good traction in the field, but they rode roughly and put divots into paved roads. In 1926, Hoyle Pounds, a Fordson dealer in Florida, pictured here, started fitting tractors with non-inflated rubber tires. They were widely accepted by citrus grove owners because they had improved traction in sandy soils and could be driven on paved public highways. One of the Pounds rubber tired Fordson tractors is displayed at the Orange County Historical Museum in Orlando, Florida. In 1929, Hessel Rorda, a Farmall tractor dealer in Rock Valley, Iowa, began equipping some of his tractors with low pressure rubber tires. Stories of the success of rubber tires on tractors fed back to the manufacturers. In 1932, Harry Merritt, manager of the Alice Chalmers Tractor Division, approved fitting one of their Model U tractors with Firestone aircraft tires and running field trials with it on the farm of Albert Schroeder near Waukesha, Wisconsin. This tractor is displayed today at the Stonefield Village Museum in Cassville, Wisconsin. Farmers in the midst of the Great Depression, however, did not rush to buy rubber-tired tractors. They thought rubber tractor tires would slip like truck tires and might rot. To stimulate interest in this new product, tractor racing demonstrations were held at various state fairs. In one such race on September 17, 1933 at Dallas, Texas, race car driver Barney Oldfield set a land speed record for tractors of 64.28 miles per hour. He drove an Alice Chalmers Model U with number 999. By 1933, tractor companies began offering models with rubber tires already mounted on rims. Blacksmith shops did a growing business retrofitting steel wheels to rubber ones. Steel wheels were not only hard on the operators, but inefficient. These excerpts from a silent film by the Goodyear Company demonstrated for farmers the benefits of increased field and road travel speed, improved fuel economy, and operator comfort. By 1940, 95% of new tractors rode on rubber wheels. ASABE plaques commemorating this development are displayed at the Orange County Museum in Orlando, Florida, at the Stonefield Village Museum in Cassville, Wisconsin, and at the Rorda Machine Shop Incorporated in Rock Valley, Iowa.